in the heart. You can pretend on the outside, and on the in the heart, you feel something different. I can go to Margaret, and I can tell Margaret I love her. Inside, I don't care for her. I don't hate her, but I don't care for her. So in the heart, it's what's in that heart of mine, that old heart of mine. And I can do something and it not be from my heart, but it appears to be that something that I want to do, something I like doing, but it's not real because it's not what's in my heart. My old heart is seeing something different. The new heart, the new heart, when you get the new heart, the new heart makes a change in you, a complete change. The new heart can respond to the word of God. Yes, when the pre preacher's preaching or whoever's speaking or whatever they speak a word into your life, that new heart will respond because it can now contain the word of God. It can conceive it and it can produce it. Yes. Because you got a new heart when God gives you that new heart. When you got that new heart, Saul is a good example. When Saul was on the road to Damascus, and Saul got, you know, Jesus knocked him off his, his um, animal, and he had an encounter with Jesus. At that time, we know that Saul had been doing so many evil things, so many things. He'd been persecuting the church, you know, witnessing people get killed. He was a part of a lot of things that he shouldn't have been doing that was evil in God's eyes, Satan against God's people. And so when he had that encounter with Jesus, he was changed. He knew he never went back. He never went back and did any of those things anymore. He never, he never went back and persecuted nobody. He was totally changed in his heart because God had changed his heart completely.